Hello my friends, and welcome to the last day of Vlogmas, day 24. Is a Santa Claus. Day 24 is a chapstick and our fun feminist fact is in 1893 New Zealand became the first country to allow women to vote. Pour some sugar on me. These little Christmas tree gummies and they are raspberry and apple flavored Christmas trees. Oh my goodness. They did save the best for last. It is a mini A7 diary. The last day of our self-care one. You have purpose and it's a detox body oil. Day 24 of our pin. It's Santa Claus. Day 24 is baby Jesus. I mean, it doesn't get any more perfect another candle oh and this is a favorite it's amber it's such a good candle oh my gosh my friends it really is the conclusion of vlogmas look there's no advent calendars left so we have christmas vacation on mom is cooking um tonight we're keeping it simple we're having some um oh barbecue pulled chicken and my mom's homemade macaroni and cheese. Bub is waiting for any scrap. It's up here. That's Grammy. Ooh, yes, thank you. Mom and I did a little shopping today. We're gonna have some mulled cider and I found these dried orange slices. We also picked up these jalapeno honey dill pickles which sound amazing. Uh, a couple of you already asked over on Instagram about this scone pan. Um, I will leave it linked. It's really amazing. They literally lift right out of it. And like, look how perfectly, like, evenly cooked they are. So, I will leave this linked for you. Christmas Eve day has been so incredibly mellow. Um, we have watched Christmas Vacation, Noel, on Disney Plus. We watched a Hallmark Christmas movie. I truly feel like we watched something else too. Christmas Vacation, Noel, a Hallmark Christmas movie. Um, and right now we have Unlikely Angel with Dolly Parton. It's like one that my grandma and I used to watch. Um, and Steven ran out because he said he forgot something. We have the pulled chicken going. We're gonna prep some other stuff in a little bit. But yeah, this, look how crooked this rug is right now. Just some doggies. 
You've eaten more food today than you've eaten all year. Gremel keeps feeding you all the things. Are you gonna help cook? Yes, I'm gonna cook the pulled chicken. It needs more salt. Uh, I might get my mom to work on the puzzle. We might play some Dutch bullet. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is We've been working on the puzzle and we got some of it done. <laughs> We've been laughing because I called it a puzzle with, puzzle without borders, like doctors without borders, because we swear we cannot find these couple border pieces to connect it all. But we did all the bits of traffic and we started putting the tree together. And here we have some pulled chicken for sliders. For sliders. We kept it super simple tonight. We could probably turn this down, Mama. Should I just put it on warm now? And then we're gonna put a relish tray together. And I wonder why they call it a relish tray. Just your grandma always called it. Grandma always called it a relish tray, but why? Because relish, I think, has... You're supposed to enjoy the vegetables. No, I think relish, because relish has vegetables like celery and... But that's not what peppers. most people call it, right? No. Most people call it crudite. Well, that's fancy. Grandma called it a relish tray. So, a relish tray... You always had to have a relish tray. You, even if you, it was just like us. Yeah. Like, for lunch, you had... She said that glass one... Yeah, I have with the little, it had like triangles. Yeah. She has, she had cheese and celery and carrots. But it was like whatever she had from like, so a relish tray in our house is just a vegetable tray. And that's what we are going to prep now. I'm gonna prep the tray while my mom works on the mac and cheese and then we'll also just use this tomorrow too we have some cheeses for it i got some really good cheeses so i got some parms i got a rosemary asiago and then a couple other this olive oil and rosemary asiago trader joe's used to carry a Asiago, uh, Rosemary Asiago, but they've stopped. So I found this at our cheese store. I have shown this platter a really long time ago. They are by Nora Fleming. I think you can get them at Nordstrom, Von Mauer couple other places but what's cool about them is they come with little decorative ceramic pieces they have like birthday cakes and champagne bottles and you stick it down in the little slot and then it like customizes your platter super cute i only have the pine cone but i definitely want to get a couple other pieces to go with it also my mom and i just had the biggest laugh she prepped her celery and then soaked it in ice water and like a bunch of them curled. And I kept telling her, I feel like I'm on like that Ripley's Believe It or Not, and they look like someone's like extra long fingernails, which kind of is disgusting, but it made us laugh so hard. Um, all right, we're gonna just keep cutting and prepping and getting things ready. So it is around midnight, so it is officially Christmas morning. So A, Merry Christmas. Um, Everyone is upstairs in bed. I accidentally fell asleep and slept for about an hour. So that means I cannot 
now go to bed at a reasonable time. Um, so I'm up, I'm organizing Christmas gifts. So like I have my parents section, Steven section, Steven brought down my gifts and has them over there. I've been editing um, the day 24 vlog. So there's that. Something also really cool happened today and I was so glad they shared it with me. A subscriber had reached out and got their sister Rose as their secret Santa and I guess she has been a follower of the channel and really loves it. Um, so I got to surprise her um, with a little video message as one of her gifts and they were able to send me her reaction and it's just too cool not to share. Those moments are just the best because everyone who has watched this knows that I've created this just to bring some smiles to people. That really is it. Um, I know at the beginning of this I said that Vlogmas would end today. Well, I guess it actually technically is the 25th. But instead, I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well, but it will probably be a little bit shorter. But I think I'll end day 24 right here and wish you all the merriest of Christmases. And I'll see you again tomorrow, even though the intro said it was the last day. So take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be today, just later. Bye-bye. <laughs>